Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I wish my twin flame would stop bitching for like two minutes and just help me heal. What do I what do I gotta do over here? I'm I'm revealing all of these places that that they're blocked and that they're upset. And all they want to do is like call me names. All they do is blame me. How do you think that makes me feel? I wish they would just stop using their head for us and, and just use their heart. And guide us home. I feel like I'm in that Blair Witch Project movie. When is my twin flame going to get it? I don't know if they ever will. Just use the, use the fucking mirror exercise already. Don't forget about the free event coming up on this Friday. It is question and an private question and answer. Sign up if you are able to. So think about the thoughts that you follow. Do they lead to more peaceful thoughts or do they lead to emotionally charged thoughts like fear, worry, insecurity, etc., etc.? Following thoughts of peace creates more peace within you, like a domino effect. And when you tru truly feel peace within, it attracts your heart's desires, namely your twin flame. Feeling peace within creates that in your outer world. Your, your outer world becomes very peaceful and attractive to others. And miracles can occur because you aren't chasing them away with fear-based thoughts. And your mind and your heart have to be aligned in order to have true peace within yourself. How do you do that? Use the mirror exercise. So notice how following those negatively charged thoughts makes you feel probably really shitty. And once you start it's pretty hard to stop yourself. It's like they take over, like a domino effect. Notice the similarities here. So you can put a smile on your face and act like everything is so amazing. My journey is amazing. You know, it's just time. You know, time. I just have to wait. But you aren't confronting what's going on within you. There's like a civil war taking place within yourself between wanting to follow your heart and being with your twin flame and every single reason why that can't or won't happen. There's like literally world war whatever going on within you. Now maybe because they're a jerk. Maybe because they do dumb shit and don't deserve you. Maybe you screwed it up. Maybe you just can't do this anymore. Whatever the reason is, whatever the excuse is that you're telling yourself, that is not a very peaceful environment. All of those negatively charged emotions and thoughts just create more of the same. They are sabotaging you from letting your heart peacefully lead you to love lead you to the things that you truly desire. Your heart has the ability to tap into all-knowing source. Your mind is limited to your experiences. It has a hard time computing things it cannot relate to. So it deems them uh, wrong or impossible or false or a lie. Which do you think knows the truth? Now that is, here's where the mirror exercise comes in. It's used to align your heart with your mind so that you can create peace and not turmoil within yourself. And it is very easy to use and very easy to free yourself 
from all of these patterns and stories that you get caught up telling yourself that really just turn into excuses and, you know, feeling really bad. So you either want to help yourself or you just want to complain and whine about how shitty you have it. So these things don't just like miraculously get better or, you know, start going in a good direction if you aren't willing to change something or make a new choice for yourself and how your life is going to go. You know, don't make excuses. Just do it. Take the first step. That's that's it. You know, make a new choice. Don't look at the whole thing and be like, oh my God, that is, this is going to be so hard. No, it's not, it's not overwhelming to just take one step in the direction of your desires. And let's, let the rest of the steps reveal themselves as they need to, one by one. You just go one step at a time. So go down below and click the links or visit asoneguidance.com directly for all of the services to healing your separation and getting into union with your twin flame. And don't forget about the free event on Friday. See y'all later.